desperate need of some retail therapy. And it is Victoria's birthday and I need to get her a gift. I considered thrifting, I also considered going to a different antique mall, but I think I'm, I haven't really done a good shopping walkthrough of the factory antique mall in a long time. So we are here and we're gonna see if we can't find Tori a gift and make myself feel better through some, some shopping. Now, what most people do when they come into Antique Mall is they go right as soon as they come in the door. I like to go left to avoid all that extra traffic. So, let's go this way. So the thing about shopping for gifts for Tori is we're very similar. We don't know that we like something until we see it. And we are also very picky <laughs> about home decor and like what we put in the house, which makes it difficult to pick something. And that's probably why often like I just give me a gift card, please. Like I, I would prefer that. And maybe if I can't find anything, that's exactly what I'll do. But I think I, I think I can find something. She has very much been expressing interest in getting a Fiesta Wear vase, but I think she wants a very specific color, so I'm not gonna try and, and go through those and pick that out. She does like interesting glassware and interesting art. It's all so subjective. So this is gonna be kind of a tough challenge for me. But I did just find this very, cute booth so I'm gonna see if I can find anything in here. The owl print's really cute. I saw this mirror and that's 15. A lot of cute needlepoint as well. That mirror is also very nice for 60. The mushroom canister set. That owl right there. A lot of owl stuff. Are these salt and pepper shakers. They are. I've had something similar before. Six dollars for those. Lots of good options for sure. So keep some of the things in here in mind as I look around. Nothing really jumping out at me though right now. So we'll keep looking. of really cute treasures in it. Appalachian treasure is the name. I saw this and I might get this for myself. It's just a little spoon rest but it's for a dollar and I need a spoon rest in my kitchen so that might be coming home with me but I started looking around more and there's just a lot of great stuff in here. Over here a little piece of local history. A Waynesboro drugstore bottle from Waynesboro, Virginia. That's right down the road from here for 29. Also, a bunch of these little bamboo shelf pieces. There's one, there's another, and there's actually another over here. The embroidered flowers, very, very cute. I've had similar salt and pepper shaker with the stand before, but it had both of the grapes. This one has a strawberry and a grape for $12.99. Not a bad price, very cute. I took mine to Luckett's, sold at Luckett's. These are kind of cool too. Paperweights for 32. Hey, what's up? <laughs> I'm over here at the factory. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, oh I haven't looked at my booth yet because I know it's bad. I, I just, somebody, I'm, I'm walking through the other booths looking at stuff, and somebody uh, had a Fiesta pitcher that was on the ground, kind of tucked behind something, 
And I was like, ooh, let me pick that up because it was a cream white one that was really pretty. And it was full of water, but I didn't know that until I flipped it over to look for a price tag. So I've been cleaning up water off the floor for like 10 minutes. <laughs> it was full. <laughs> oh, I felt so bad. Is there anything that you might be interested for a birthday gift that I might find here? No, not that I can think of, unless you can find me a bathroom cabinet. Like one to put on the wall? No, just like a, just one that has enclosed shelves. Like kind of like a dresser, but for a bathroom and, you know, not a dresser. Just something mid-century-ish to fit here that has enclosed, you know, shelving or cabinet, whatever. Can you send me a pic of the space? I just do. Oh, I see. So something yeah. narrow the that... The storage I have is underneath my sink. Okay, so I see what yeah. you're saying. Yeah, I just need like storage in the bathroom. And I'm guessing something not with glass shelves. Or gla not glass uh, doors. No, I just don't, I don't want to see it. I see, okay. Yeah. If I didn't find you that, but I found you something uh, else, what would you, what don't you need anything of? Or any more no, of? No, nothing like kitchen. Nothing kitchen? Yeah, if you find a cool piece of art that you think I would like. Okay. Nothing like super knick-knacky. Nothing, yeah. Yeah, I don't need anything like that. Okay. All right, bye. Bye. Well, there you go. So she doesn't want anything kitchen. She actually would like a piece of furniture with doors for her bathroom. Nothing too knick-knacky. And she's interested in art. See, like I told you, this is gonna be tough to do. I don't know if we're gonna find anything that would work, but I'm still kind of shopping for me too, so uh, we'll keep looking. I stumbled across this little side table. It is so cute. The tag has it as a vintage Lotus handcrafted dark walnut side accent table for $54.99. Very, very cute. I love the patina on it. So it says everything in this booth is 50% off. And I was perusing through, found some cute stuff. Like this is adorable. Isn't that cute? I love that. For $3, I might have to get that. Um, there was also this really wonderful glass piece for 50. And that says Jack in the pulpit vase Fenton so that would be 25 a lot of knickknacky things but the thing that I thought was the most interesting was this brass quilt rack for $50 uh, and because this booth is 25% off that would be $25 Tori had mentioned to me in the past this was a while ago I don't know if she ever found anything but she had mentioned that she was looking for a quilt rack or something very similar and I think she would really like this. Just to put extra blankets on and if she doesn't like it, I'll take it. <laughs> so I think this might be the, the perfect thing. I know she didn't mention it but I don't think she was even thinking about it being a possibility. And like I said, if she doesn't like it, that's I'll, I'll find a place for it. This would kind of be interesting as a bathroom cabinet. For $195, it's got that there. That would kind of be cool, right? The only thing I'd say, I wish this had shelves on this side. It doesn't even have the hanging bar in it, which could be a problem. If it had shelves, I think Tori would be very interested. We could always put shelves in it. It wouldn't be too hard. But for $195, I'm not sure. I'll take a pic and send it to her. Ooh, look at this rug. $75. I love the colors on it. It kind of looks, well, up here, this is closer to what it looks like. More pink and brown. That kind of looks orange there. Put back up. Nah, it still looks kind of orangey on camera. It's definitely more pink. I like that. That would work well in my kitchen. 
just because I don't want anything that's super nice and I definitely see those stains. So that might be a good option for the kitchen. I actually think I saw this on Marketplace and I think Tori sent it to me, uh, but I'm gonna leave it here for now. And then if it's still on my mind when we're done, I can circle back around and pick it up. They also have these glasses in their booth. They have peacocks on them in like a really minty green. And there's a set of five for $32.99. Those are really cute. Tori said she didn't want any glassware. I definitely don't have room for glassware, so I'm gonna leave them for somebody else to find. I have a set of these plates about to come in for the fall reset. They're, uh, I think it's eight, but I have a big, the big plate set. So they had this plate for five. I can't, I think I set my price at like maybe 45 at the very top. I feel like I put it in the $36 range. So yeah, this is also marketing research. I'm not shopping for myself or anybody else. This is all market research for my uh, own space. That's what we're gonna tell ourselves today to justify this. Uh, sent Tori the cabinet and she said that she thinks it might be a little too bulky for her. She's looking for something a little more clean on the lines and mid-century. So I think she's gonna pass on that one. That doesn't mean other options aren't in here. They just did the test. And so everybody's phone is going off in the antique mall right now. Found some cute stuff. Only have really made a decision on that um, quilt rack, but I'm still looking around. This vase was too heavy. I had to put you guys down to pick it up. It's actually not a vase, it's a candle holder. But look at this, look at that. It's very heavy for 37 love the colors on it. The design is so cool. Putting it up here for later. It's a really nice stag tapestry for 35. Almost feels like silk. It's beautiful. I wonder if I could find a tag. No tag unfortunately. Like as like there was a price tag but there was no like maker's tag. I'm still on that one half of the, the antique mall. I haven't even made it halfway through this place yet. There's just so much to see. This place is, it's massive. Hold on. Blue Side Sea Life bookends for 75 for the pair. They got little, oh my gosh, they have seahorses in them. I didn't even notice that the first time. Y'all see that? Aww. Those are some some cool bookends. I like this basket. 89. A little steep for me. A little steep. I think I'm gonna move to the other side of the mall now. Just because there's some places I wanna look at over here. You know, this is the eighth year that I've been in this antique mall. So I've been here eight years. And I have a pretty good idea of where most stuff is or at least where I can find uh, something if I'm looking for something in particular. But dealers are, you know, coming and going all the time. But there are a lot of dealers that have been here for a long, long time, like 20 plus years. So those people have a pretty good idea of what their inventory looks like and what they have or what they might have. So that's where I'm heading to look at their stuff. for $15 are kind of cool. I mean, they're metal and they're old and rusty, but they kind of make a really interesting art installation on someone's wall. Ooh, I like the oak tea cart too. For 95, and it's got stuff on it, so it's kind of risky for me to do this. That kind of rolls still. Actually, it rolls pretty well, so that's not bad. It's really cute, I like that a lot. Probably 
obviously clean it up and then put uh, top of that um, moisturizer. The, I always want to call it beeswax, but that's not it. Uh, that's probably what I would do. So I saw this really nice brass candlestick holder. Of Handle's really interesting too, and I couldn't find a price tag. And I looked down, and there's another one. Ooh, boy. And a pair of heavy brass candlesticks uh, for $26.95. That is not bad. I love that it's a pair. I'm gonna try and put them together though, so people actually know they're both here. There you go, that's better. What else is in this booth? A lot of these booths I've never been in before, like completely and really look through. So I'm finding all these cute little things and really getting to look at all the little stuff on the shelves. These guys, what are these? No clue. Is there a tag? Chopstick rests for $15. Those are so, there's a ton of them. The little leaves, looks like bamboo leaves. Hmm, I think I'm gonna find something in here. $7.99, huge brass candlestick holder. site napkin holders they either have shells in them or dried flowers this one has dried pasta in it and flowers it's got such a, a kitschy kitchen look this is a little a recipe holder on a stand and you can see here it's got all the the categories you could want some dessert fruit poultry salads uh i don't love the art that's up here but i'm looking at it and i think that could peel off and i think you could replace it with something else I, that's really cute a great little kitchen piece now for 14.99 this hand-blown Heart face. It looks like there's a 2010 date on the bottom. It's pretty. I like the colors of it and I like the design that's in the glass. But what I think is really interesting is that there's already a little flower frog in there on the bottom. And I just, I, that would be something that I would think I would see from like a really old, a much older piece. So I'm surprised that a 2010 piece has that in there. I love the colors. That's a really cute little piece. And for $14.99, that ain't bad. <laughs> Last piece and then I'll move on, but this is a really interesting 1930s bungalow cottage clock. I like the silver paint that's on it and I like the aged look. There's a, the only downfall is there's a crack that's running from front to back on it. And it feels like it's a combination of wood and plaster. Those are nice. 18. They're on like a little pedestal too. Oh my gosh, look at that stamp. Really, really beautiful pair. I think it's I think it's 18 a piece though, which is still not a bad price for these. I actually really like this sketch work. Is that what it is? For 35? Looks like it. I can't read what that says. And I like the frame and I like how it's framed. I like the, the matting that's around it as well. I like that piece. That piece is interesting to me. Beautiful blown jug, some ginger jars, some brass, really nice brass pieces and glass or brass candlesticks. A painting for 25 called Lady on the Balcony with the moon in it. This piece is interesting also. So I, I love the colors on it. It is $15 and it says, what does it say here? It says the art of Edmund Dulac. It's an illustration. And it looks like the Sleeping Beauty is uh, 
what the title of it is down here. Kinda see that? I'm sure it's blurry, I'm sorry. Uh, kinda. But also there's this little cat that's down here sleeping as well. I think for $15 I might do that because this is really cute and I really like the frame and I love the colors and I like how it's framed and I like the subject. So I think this might come back with me. We're kind of near the, the back of the antique mall now. This is the new expansion area. I'd like for them to clean it up a little more before they would have opened it, but just a ton of furniture. And glass and just anything and everything. Shut up, look how cute this thing is. Oh my gosh. I love it. Oh my god, how much, how much, how much? 325. Maybe that's on the wish list for something in the future. I don't even think I have a place to to put it. And it's so cute. I love it. Dang it. Look at this piece that's over here. See that? Isn't that beautiful? Black walnut Victorian side server with glass door for 335. That is so just unique. He's got a lot of unique furniture pieces. A little expensive, but unique. Okay, I think I've hit a wall. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back through and collect all the things that I remember that I liked and definitely wanna get. I already picked up one, this pair of sunnies, and I'm going the wrong way. I'm gonna go this way. If we happen to see anything else while we're walking through, I'll show you. Yeah, that's not good. next morning and I need to show you guys what I found yesterday just because I don't think I showed you everything as I was finding it a few of the pieces were like I'm passing through oh what's the price on that pick up I know I said I was gonna try and show you but the antique mall was closing so really just had to pick it up and go to the front so let me show you we'll start with this so you guys saw this yesterday I really love the colors on it I don't know how to describe it. It almost looks watercolor. I mean, it's it's a print. I, I don't know, I just, the colors aren't like super vibrant or anything. They're a little muddy. It's very romantic looking. I think this would look amazing in uh, like a little girl's room. The Sleeping Beauty down here and a cute little kitten. And I really love the frame. I'm sorry, I'm trying not to get the glare. I love the frame. I think overall it's just a really nice piece and we got it for a really good price. So you all also saw these, my new pair of sunglasses. I have a lot of sunglasses. Uh, <laughs> I got a pair recently at uh, the Virginia Beach Antique Mall. And I think I, think I showed that on the video too. And I like them, 
I think they're just a little small. And then my girlfriend Cam put them on when we went to a con concert recently and they just fit her perfectly. And so I'm gonna make sure that she gets those and that I'm gonna keep these. And I think this shape probably looks a little better on my face anyways. So those are mine. <laughs> a lot of this is for me. Uh, very little of this is actually for resale. And kind of my policy for resale when I'm shopping in the antique mall that I have a booth in is I don't do it often. And if I do it, it's items that have been there for a really long time. <laughs> so like, for example, uh, I didn't buy this through the antique mall. The dealer was actually in their booth, but this was down behind several boxes and under a stool and had no price tag on it and had a ton of dust it had been there for years and it's an old record holder but i'm gonna use it to hold plates in the booth so on display on a table like in between i have a lot of plates and i like them stacked but i don't feel like they sell as well just stacked so i would like something to put them on display with and I think that's a good piece I'll obviously have a price tag on it but um, I really got it as a display piece or something to help display something else you all saw this little guy just a little cactus dish with some hand painting detail on the inside if my friends still lived in Texas they would love this and I would totally send it to them it does say made in China on the back I actually had not had a chance to Google Lens it, so let me do it right now. Ceramic cactus trinket bowl, cactus shape, for $9.99. And we got it for like $1.50 yesterday. <laughs> so that's cool. Now that doesn't mean it'll actually sell at $9.99, but at the very least, uh, we didn't overpay for it. Here's another little small thing. I, I picked this up for myself as well. It's Prayers for Young People. I was initially drawn in by the cover because I like the colors a lot and I like the font, I like the little the details, but then I started browsing through it and it was actually something I just wanted to keep and look through kind of on my own time. They're almost just little prayers on each page and it's something that I could definitely use right now. I'll keep this for a little while. It might end up in the booth eventually, but on the front it says to Bonnie with much love Christmas 1967 from mother <laughs> and copywritten in 1963 so that's a cool little piece I'll put that in my probably on my bedside table for the time being uh, I saw this when I was leaving uh, and this booth also had a sale going on and it's a hand-painted tray or platter with dogwood flowers and dogwood is actually the official flower of Virginia right or is it the official tree the flowering dogwood so there you go uh, was also a very good deal and I'm considering keeping this for a little bit as well <laughs> I I don't know like this was a whole lot of retail therapy for me if we're being honest i'm sure some of this will end up in the booth in the booth eventually but i'm just going to borrow it for a bit until i decide that it could go somewhere keeping with the dogwood flower theme i found this as well and it was also hand painted black croc with hand painted dogwood flowers on it um, very similar to the tray, but I don't know where I was going with that. I'm sorry. It's morning. Maybe I need another cup of coffee. Anyways, so the, the reason why I love this crock in particular, one, it's black. Great. Two, hand-painted dogwood flowers. Beautiful. But I also found a little hand-painted... What are you doing, Sadie? Stop that. Stop that. The reason why I was drawn to this crock was because I actually found or have another crock that is also hand painted with little dogwood flowers but they put it kind of in this little checkered pattern diamond checkered pattern on the front so now i have two really cute hand painted black crocs with dogwoods on them and a tray you just want to be on camera don't you you're so cute and everybody loves seeing you 
Yes. Yes. Get your, get your, get your limelight, girl. Mm-hmm. This is another keep for me. The little spoon holder. And I need this for my kitchen and cooking because I keep using like a plate or a paper towel to put uh, my spoon on. City, you okay? Okay, anyway, so sp spoon rest, spoon holder. It has this little detail on the back, but I love this side and I love the green. And so that's gonna go in my kitchen. Another thing that I found on my way out of the mall yesterday are these flower frogs. And I saw a bunch yesterday uh, that were all kind of a little more expensive, but this one I think was only five bucks and I think it was on sale if I remember correctly. And so I picked that up and I need this for uh, some of the things, some of the vases that I have. I want to be able to better prop up flowers or the faux flowers that I have. And I have some pretty big vases. So like for instance, this would be perfect. You can't really see that. Yeah, you kind of can. So it'd be perfect for like if I had some really tall, stimmy uh, faux flowers or just like uh -oh, tree stems. And I didn't want them to just like flop one way or the other and have them stick a little more upright. This would be perfect for that. So that is also kind of a display piece that I'll be using in the booth. This guy, oh my gosh, was only like, was it even $3? A hand painted, hand blown vase. Now it's a little frilly up here at the top for me, but I really love the colors. I love that it's hand painted and it's hand blown. You can cut, you can see there on the bottom where they had to break the uh, blow stick off from the glass piece. I don't know the terms, I'm sorry. I just understand how it happened, but this is a really cute piece. I think it'll work, yeah, like I'm just looking at it with all the other stuff I have in the living room right now and it's gonna look really good. So that is gonna be a booth piece and it's a really beautiful, just original piece of glass and it's functional as a vase. So I think someone will like that. So this I passed several times yesterday when I was walking around uh, and it was only $15. I'm actually gonna keep it the kitty cat, Fisher, loves baskets, but he doesn't just love baskets, he loves round baskets. And I think if I put like a little pillow in the bottom of this, he will just live in this basket. So I picked it up for him and I will like put it somewhere here in the living room and he can just curl up in it and sleep. Uh, the last thing, this very, very delicate leaf basket, it's very delicate. I really don't want to move it around a ton. Now this has been sitting in another person's antique booth that's on my path to get to my antique booth for a long time. And I just keep eyeballing it and looking at it and I've picked it up a few times. I don't think I'm gonna put it in my booth, but I think I'm, I, this is gonna sound crazy, but I think I'm gonna save it for the fall booth that I'm planning on doing for Luckett's next year. So fall 2024 Luckett setup, this basket's for that. That's how far in advance I'm thinking. It's, it's beautiful, it's very delicate guys. Like you could use it as a basket, but I wouldn't want to. It's more of a display piece, uh, very pretty. It would look great on someone's like fall tablescape. I don't even understand how they did this like glue and just layers and layers of leaves. I don't know, I don't know how they did it. I gifted Tori her quilt rack last night and I was like, didn't you say you were looking for a nice quilt rack to put your extra blankets on? And she was like, no. <laughs> so she did, she wants to keep it. She's gonna take it home and make sure that works in her space. Uh, and I told her if, she, if it doesn't, then I'll take it because I thought it was a very nice quilt wrap. And we got one heck of a deal on it. That quilt rack had been there for a long time too. And it has sat there with those ties on it. I mean, 
mean for forever and even at the original price that it was at i still thought it was a good deal and getting it at that crazy discount i mean it was gonna come home with me i couldn't have been happier so hopefully tori likes it i'll just take her out to dinner if she doesn't <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this shopping video. That mall is huge and uh, truly you cannot do it in a day uh, unless you're some kind of super antiquer and have the mental fortitude to just, I don't know, go militantly by booth by booth to see what you can find. It's just so big and there's so much to see. Uh, so maybe one day I'll do a, an absolutely exclusive full antique mall shopping video but um, I mean I was there for at least four hours yesterday and maybe touched a quarter of it maybe a third it's just so big so thank you all for watching I am gonna go get another coffee and I will see y'all next time bye Thank you.